let's talk about wine. Me, me, me. Not that kind of wine. Let's talk about wine so that we can demystify this a little bit, okay? Mr. Wine Man, lend me some wine. Boom, 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 da, 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 da. You want to buy wine. It's terrifying. I mean, it can be. You go to the wine store, you're just staring at all these labels. You don't know what anything means. You don't know what region things are. So I'm gonna break this down to you. I'm gonna give you two wines, red and white, and two champagnes. One is inexpensive, one is more expensive, and you may have to order them. Have some pre-planning, it's not gonna kill you. Order from Zaki's, always Zaki's first. If you can't find it at Zaki's, you can just look online. Maybe some other place that has it. Number one is Fantanel, which you might have to order. It's dry, crisp, easily drinkable, $12. This is called Fedora, which is a weird name, but it's organic, which is kind of cool. And it's delicious. It's very crisp and very light. I believe it retails for $18, okay? These are two very affordable whites. I would also like to recommend delving into the Chablis world. Chablis is extremely out of fashion, reason unknown. The French name or the nickname for Chablis is Jouy de Pierre, which means juice of the rock because Chablis is flinty. It's like two rocks being hit together. And really, a $12 Chablis, an $18 Chablis can be sublime. So don't be afraid to ask the wine man, I'm looking for a Chablis, because he would love to sell you one. So I have to be very specific about what red wine I drink. If it doesn't give me a rosacea, it's great. This one does not give me a rosacea. It's eminently drinkable with every meal I've prepared. It's my house wine, or in England they call it plonk because it goes plonk in the glass. So my plonk, my house wine, is this, which is called Cuvée Viva, bad name. Label's pretty, but Cuvée Viva is kind of a weird name. But this is uh, relatively young, so 2010. It is $9. Not one of your friends is ever gonna know it's $9. But this is a very, very drinkable claret which is the old fashioned word, if you ever wondered what claret was in all those books, for Bordeaux. There's two kinds of grapes, basically. There's many, 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 but there's two basic ones. The two basic ones are Pinot Noir and Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, I'm gonna break it down for you. Cabernet Sauvignon, Bordeaux. Pinot Noir, Burgundy. That's it. In America, it's Pinot Noir and Cab. In France, it's Burgundy and Bordeaux. That's the whole story. The next up, the middle one, I want to recommend is Saumur Champigny, which is, you have to order this, it's hard to find. This is a Loire Valley Cabernet Franc, which is kind of in between the, the two, kind of. I'm gonna get killed for saying that, but it's kind of in between. This is a little more acidic, a little brighter. It's good if you need to cut through something rich, uh, like a stew or like a pork roast or something you want to serve red. I would serve this. So this anytime, this if you feel like spending four extra dollars. Okay, special occasion, the other guy is coming over. You might have to look for this. It's called Grand Fauri Rose, La Rose, which is a, I'm not gonna explain it. If you go to the internet and find this, this wine, this is a big, it's young, it's a 2009, which is young. This is a beautiful velvety claret with a sort of a grown-up overtone. If you go downstairs or you go to a, another location with the other boy, like from dinner you go to like the TV room, this is what I would bring. So those are three reds. Okay, champagne, sparkling uh, wine. Uh, it's only champagne if it comes from Champagne in the area in France. They made a ruling recently where you can only call it champagne if it's from Champagne, which I think is fair. I'm just gonna give you three examples. Two are pretty, one is outrageous, one is pretty expensive, and one is gonna blow your mind. This is Gaston Chiquet, which I'm gonna recommend to you 100% forever and always. Gaston Chiquet, which you can get from Waverly Liquors on Sixth Avenue. Gaston Chiquet is a grower champagne. It's cool, it has cachet, it's dry, it's crisp, it's light, it's green, it has a green feeling to it. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it's about $42, which is expensive. This is for Christmas only. Be a cart salmon rosé, this is my favorite. 
I, I just can't mince words. It's 80 bucks. This is for a special occasion, or if you're going somewhere where you want to spend almost 100 bucks on somebody's champagne. This is a Prosecco, which is Italian sparkling white wine. The name is Mionetto. Do you see how festive and beautiful the bottle is? This is a lovely present to bring to somebody's home. It's a fantastic bottle to have on the table. Gorgeous, chic, lovely, dry, crisp, happy, sparkling, beautiful white wine. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. This is available in many liquor stores in New York City and I'm sure all over the country. I, if it isn't, order it. I order it by the case because people cannot notice the difference after the beginning of the evening. So uh, just a brief aside, some of your friends don't drink and certainly we don't drink for certain times or whatever you want. So it's nice to give them something, I think we've mentioned this before, besides Martinelli's sparkling cider, which is all they ever get. They want something fun and interesting and festive, okay? I recommend again, San Pellegrino, uh, this is the blood orange one. They have lemon, regular orange, they have grapefruit, which some people don't like, but they have, it's pretty, it has a pretty can. Put a little ice in a tall glass, a little, piece of lime or lemon and pour this for them like this and it makes them not feel like they have this weird thing where they can't drink it's you, they deserve that so go and look for them and you can mix too you can put ginger ale and tan pellegrino in a glass it's fun and exciting not one of your friends is ever gonna know it's nine dollars